next pitch. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So here's Adam Frazier. First two men in the inning have both Adam. gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Now batting the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Swing and a miss at the bender, and it's even at one and one. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. And that misses two and one. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball, and it's gone. This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. The center field. Here's Gerard Dyson. Gerard Dyson. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The windup and the 0 1. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Three runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Hit down the line at first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So striding forward now, Matt Joyce. For the Marlins, the center fielder, Matt Joyce. First pitch of the at bat. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And that's a home run into the top tank. In now, Jorge Alfaro. The catcher, Jorge. And he puts it on the ground to second. Newman's got it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now Ready batting. now, Miguel Go Rojas. Top. One run Take in care. and one gone so far this inning. Rojas. First pitch on its way. Grounded back up the middle. Newman brings it in, and that's the second out. Now at the plate, now Harold that, Ramirez. Right he was thrown out at second, Harold. trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. A nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Striding into the box, Brian Reynolds. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Brian Reynolds. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. A 
1 1 count to the Pirates leadoff hitter. Now here it comes. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. Now batting to the plate now, Gregory Polanco. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Fouled away. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. The first baseman. Josh Bell, the next to hit. Josh Bell. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Line toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. now so now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Colin Moran. Colin. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Count one, and oh. one of the things every pitcher wants to do is make sure that those hitters aren't very comfortable up there. See how he runs this hard one in right here? That's a pitch you just want to try to get a hitter to move his feet a little bit. The 1-1 one, one home. Four runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. To two balls and two strikes now. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Jonathan Villar. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The second baseman, Jonathan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Dyson moving in. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Corey Dickerson. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. Dickerson. Here's the first pitch to him. Sent on the ground out to second. Newman fields it cleanly. Throw on the first, takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Stepping in, Jesus Aguilar. Two the hits and two trips for him thus far. Aguilar. First pitch on its way. It's really hard to match up this poor performance when you dive into the numbers. This guy's thrown over 80% of it. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Into the box, Garrett Cooper. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Garrett Cooper. He's set. Here it comes. set and the 0 1 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball fastball close but he didn't get it two and one we're starting to see a lot more balls from him now and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good he's trying to do something different and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore The three and one pitch. He loses him on ball four. So digging in now, Brian Anderson. Now and we'll Third see what he can do here with a pair of Brian. runners on base and two gone Anderson. here in the fifth. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Line drive to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Aguilar isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. The center fielder, number seven, Matt Short. Nick Birdie answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. At the plate, Matt Joyce. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Come set, the 0-1. Swing and he pops him up, and this should get him out of it. Moran is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Now to the plate, Jose Osuna. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. And he takes a cold strike, too. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. The one-two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Digging in now, now Kevin Newman, one like for baseball. two. He singled Kevin and struck out in two Newman. trips. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And now a pitch on the way. Fly ball right down the line and left. Dickerson on the move. And they can't run it down. 4-4 four, four is our score as we play the sixth. To two balls and two strikes now. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he'll get in there safely. Now batting. Football. Adam Winkler. Stepping in now, Adam Frazier. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Kinsler is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. The one-two is a low changeup that's laid off.
And he fouls this one off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Swing and a liner, but right at the shortstop for the second out. Ready to take his hacks again. Jacob Stallings, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. And there's ball two now. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw over to Aguilar at first to take care of him to end the inning. Standing in, Jorge Alfaro. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. The one one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Hit in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Stepping into the box, Miguel Rojas. He was a ground out victim last time up. And the pitch. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. The bouncer to the left side. He's got it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. So it's a runner at first as a result now of the batting. throwing error. Right and standing in Harold. the outfielder, Harold Ramirez. Ramirez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Dyson is there. Two gone. Digging in. Jonathan Villar. No it was a fly out for him in his last trip. Jonathan. 
Ivy Yaw. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Gerard Dyson. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0. Hey. Oh, looked like he was okay. towing an anchor there. Okay. 1 and 2. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Count still at 1 and 2. Now here's the pitch. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Dickerson moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. Now back, back to the heart. top of the lineup, stepping in, Brian Reynolds. He's coming off a solo Reynolds. homer in his previous trip. Hey, and in that last at bat, he took this one to straightaway center field, the deepest part of the ballpark. So this guy can hit a breaking ball a long way. Ball knotted up, 4-4, the score here in the seventh. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Pitch is swung on and hit toward VR at second. He's right there, and there are two away now. Ready for another now shot back. now. Gregory right Polanco. He Gregory struck out now. swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the at bat. At the ball. Two out, nobody on. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Joyce to the track. And they have taken the lead. The back. So now to the, the plate, plate, Josh Bell. Josh. Late yeah. on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A count of one and one to the Pirates' first baseman. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Chopper to short. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Now with the play, Corey Dickerson. He's working on a one for three thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First delivery to him on the way. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Dyson. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So now here's back. the cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. He doubled earlier and carries Aguilar. a two for two line into this appearance. First pitch of the at bat. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Osuna is there now, and it's two pitches, two out. Digging in once now again, back. Garrett Make Cooper. Two hits and two trips Garrett. for him thus far. Cooper. Now here's the pitch. 
Ahmad couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. Either he missed the take sign or they're just not thinking as a team. The first two guys out on one pitch, so it could have been a three-pitch inning if he would have made it out right there. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Well, that's a pitch right there. You've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Colin Moran. No hits in three hit. tries so far. He struck game. out once. Colin Moran. From the stretch. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The one-two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And now pitch on the way. And that misses two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Stepping up now, Jose Osuna. No hits to this Jose. point. Osuna. First pitch on its way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. I can't speak from experience, but that's got to feel good right there. Throwing a nasty changeup first pitch and getting a swing and a miss on it. Now he pretty much opened up any pitch in his arsenal. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full 3-2. and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and... All in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Aguilar is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Digging now in that. and looking for more, the Kevin Newman. Day. So far, two Kevin for three in this one. Newman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. And this will also head toward the right side of the infield. In there, a base hit. Up next to the Pirates, the shortstop, Adam. Into the box, Frazier. Adam Frazier. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 1 home. Two balls, one strike. To two and two now. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the payoff pitch home. And it's fouled away. Line drive to center field. 
And that'll get down for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he is in there. The batter, the catcher, Jacob Stalling. Standing in now, Jacob Stallings. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Off the corner with the splitter, it's 2-0. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. Outside and a full count, three and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. So stepping in, Brian Anderson. Last time through was a base hit. The third baseman, Brian Anderson. Here's the first pitch to him. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hey, this offense is going to have to change their mindset. If they're going to get swing and misses on that slider, you know he's going to go to that well. They are going to have to be willing to take the ball the other way and stay back on that heater, or they are not going to recognize that pitch. Dyson will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Stepping into the box, Matt Joyce. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. The batter. The catcher. So two gone Jorge. now in the Miami 8th. And Alfaro. up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a liner. And a diving effort at second base, but it's by him toward the alley for possible extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he will make it there. He's in as the tying run after the two-out triple. Now that is good stop. Now He's time there. is called as both guys in the oh, bullpen huh. are ready to go. At the plate now, Miguel Rojas fouled off and error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance trying to hold the lead here's the delivery swing and a miss and he's in control 0 and 2 just getting blown away so far no reason to throw anything else to speed up his back just stay right there now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three Stepping in, Gerard Dyson. He'll try and He's lead things off here in inning number nine. Number six, Gerard Dyson. First offering on its way. Ninth That's inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Two and one. Slapped hard the opposite way. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. 
the designated hitter. Up next for the Buccos, Brian Reynolds. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He set and the pitch. Off the plate, ball one. 1 0 -oh count. Here it is. Two ball, no non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, -oh, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Strike one. swinging, timing a little off on that one. Hit hard on the ground a second. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Oh. Two down. At the now plate, battle. Gregory Polanco. He comes into this appearance Gregory. in the midst of a one for four Polanco. day. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball, didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. And this one misses now to the Pirate right fielder. Two and one. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Yoni Kella comes out of the bullpen to now shut things down five. here in the ninth. Number 35. Yoni. Striding Kella. in to start the ninth, Harold Ramirez. And they'll need him to get something going here. Go. Hey, it's Four never easy one. scoring runs against right a closer, field. but this lineup Harold. is setting up perfectly right now Rob as Harold. the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And it's a base hit. And just like that, the potential time run is aboard here to start the home half of the ninth. And he's going to make it there. Barely no as he's in the second base second with a double. Jonathan. At the plate, Jonathan oh. Villar. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Pulled toward right center field. Dyson on the run. The catch is made, and the tying run is going to tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Digging now in to try it again. Corey Dickerson. Corey. And he's got a chance to tie things Dickerson. up here as the equalizer sits just 90 feet away. And it looks as though they're going to set up the double play. There's the free pass signal. So there'll be runners at the corners now with one gone. First baseman, Jesus Aguilar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Hit back toward the mound. And it's a base hit, and we are tied here in the ninth. The batter, the designated hitter, Garrett Cooper. Stepping in now, Garrett Cooper, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The winning run at second, however, the double play in order here. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Just got a piece up the line. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now batting. The third base. Striding in, Brian, Brian Anderson. A two-out hit and win it. Pass ball or wild pitch would do the trick just as well. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses that balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. 
Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Two and two. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Fouled away. He set the three two to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So striding in, Josh Bell. Leading off for the Pirates, the first baseman, number 55, Josh Bell. First delivery to him on the way. Changeup called strike one. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're nope. still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball have to be sitting on one right here he's set here's the 2-2 skied into straightaway right Ramirez moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one Up stepping in and ready for another shot Colin Moran he was a ground out victim last Moran. time up First pitch coming, here it is. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time, ball one. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And it's one and two. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. Hit back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Now batting, left fielder, Jose Osuna. In now, Jose Osuna. That's the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. 
swing and a miss one and one. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Hit the other way out toward right field. Ramirez is there, two down. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. About there are two gone, the and the base. possible go ahead Kevin run at first. Newman. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. Reined in. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Riding in once again, Matt Joyce. Leading He'll start up, things out here in a tie ball the game. Fielder, Matt Joyce. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. A one count. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Stallings is after it, and the throw is in time. Joyce is retired, and there's one away. The catcher. Coming to the plate Jorge. now, Jorge Alfaro. Oh, Two hits Alfaro. in four attempts to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Throw in time at first for route number two. Stepping up to the plate, Miguel Rojas. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And that misses one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fly ball out toward left center field. Dyson on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Into the box now, Adam Frazier. He'll kick things off here in the 11th. The shortstop, Adam Frazier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. Rojas has got it, and the first out is recorded. In now, Jacob Stallings. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away. And when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. Swing and a line drive. And there's out number two. Now in the box, Gerard Dyson. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on.
And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Here's the one and two. Right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Now that designated hitter, Brian Reynolds. To the plate now, Brian Reynolds. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He went deep back in the fifth. Popped him up. Anderson is under it. And that retires the side. Up next for Miami, Harold Ramirez. Leading He'll try to Jordan follow Harlan. up the double in his last right at-bat with another big Harold. hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over Harold. that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 and delivery. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. A swing and a ground ball to third, and just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. The batter, number two, second baseman, Jonathan. Into the box now, Jonathan Villar. Oh. Uh, so weighed out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. The winning run is at first base. A bouncer up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Now batter, left fielder. Corey Dickerson. Into the box, Corey Dickerson. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 0 1. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to get to that quickly, though, and the count will even at one. The one and one pitch. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Three and one to the Marlins left fielder. Here he is in his third inning of work out of the pen, which isn't all that common these days. And he's looking a little off right now. These guys aren't used to getting this much work in a single game anymore. Three and two, full count. Ball four, and that will move the winning run over to third base now, just 90 feet away. Now batter, first baseman. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. And he has a Your great opportunity to win it here. Now, winning run at third base, nobody Number out. 30. Kyle Crick Kyle. is summoned in the Crick. toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. And now we'll step off the rubber here and just look him back to third. Well, now the skipper decides to bring the corners in here. Let's see if it pays off. Here's the first pitch. And, ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0-1. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting the guy in from third. Now back. Next will be the designated, the designated hitter, hitter, Garrett Cooper. Garrett. He's looking to bring home Cooper. the winning run from third. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a fly ball. And that should be deep enough to end it. He'll make the catch, but it ought to be academic now. And the Marlins have done it. They walk off a winner.
That's what you call doing your job, folks. He knew he just needed to lift one to the outfield, and that's just what he did. Hey, a walk-off sack fly isn't as dramatic as a game-winning hit, but it's just as effective. Great team win right there. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the tops player of the game. Yeah, he was a big factor in this one, guys. He swung himself.